that's a big one. So we'll get dollies under it. Singing the song of its people. Look at there, Kendra. You're welcome. Oh, look, that's already damaged. You see that? Wasn't well, us. This back bumper has seen some things. Some dents there on that tailgate. Some scrapes, scuffs, scratches, dings. Plant. This bumper. Take a moment to get the back oh, got receipt here. Okay. So as you can see, the receipt has time on it. Twelve thirty-seven. It's been five hours. Been here for five hours. We appreciate the support for sure. Okay. Thing. Okay. What, what kind uh, of try, try. What is this? A white what? It's a white Yukon Denali. White Yukon Denali. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Denali. 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 Okay. Um, whereabouts do we need to come pick it up at? Uh, so forth. Or where? Where is it located at? Uh, our our lot is two twenty one Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Two twenty one Newman Road. It is in a song. And how far is that from the sky coast? Is it walking distance or is it way far away? Or? Uh, yeah, it'd be. It, you'd want to catch a cab or a or a okay. trolley or something like that. Okay. And how much? Um, and you've got to be the registered owner, so ID matches she's registration. Right here, she's right here. She's right here beside me. Okay. Yeah. As, as long as ID matches, and we're uh, yeah, two twenty one Newman Road. If you guys are heading this way, just kind of give me a heads up. I don't keep anybody there on the on the after hours, but I, I can get somebody within thirty minutes back over to the lot. Okay. Well, we're headed that way now. Um, I mean, calling an Uber and or walking that way, so okay. um, we should be there within 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. Alrighty, that sounds good. Thank you, guys. Alright, thank you. I don't have the keys still. Let's be in my pocket. Yeah, I got them in my pocket. Yes. You are, you are. <laughs> What a mess, what a mess. It is definitely. Yeah. We couldn't get a Uber. Actually, I had to call a friend that actually was staying here in town. We're from Alabama, so it's good. She had to come from their campground. It's uh it's quite the weekend, I'm telling you. It's been two and two hour waits in traffic and things like that. 
Uh, How much did you say? Well, you're the registered owner, I guess. Yes. All right. If you've got, yes, ma'am. If you've got keys, I'll bring it up here for you. I'll meet you up here, and we'll get you a receipt for this. So. And then maybe I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if I can get your car here. All my and my computer from work. Oh no, that's not good, huh? Yes, yeah, I got the keys right here. I'll meet you right back up here. Did nothing was moved out of that inside, right, sir? No, that's the first time I've ever been in it right okay, there. Let yeah, me we. Check. She had the computer in here and stuff. Dana, where was your computer at? Okay. Yeah, we uh, we put it up on auto loader and dolly, so. Got it. Awesome. I saw you guys had your, but it don't matter. You walk. You must have walked a lot of walking today. It was a little bit. But, I mean, we, we did roll the dice. I'm not gonna lie about it. But um, <laughs> hey, that they. Yeah. Sometimes you do. Sometimes, sometimes you win. Sometimes, sometimes you. It's for, all the, <laughs> it's for all the times that I, I got. Well, I didn't expect it had a Keystone V, a six hour line. Oh, I know. It's it's just totally covered up down there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did pay to go on there. It says, you, you just, can, we sort of, uh, yeah, the thing. Thank you, so much <laughs> Thank for you guys. For Be it. safe, okay? Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah, here's just receipt. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Off on the yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you guys. Roll the dice. She said, well, I didn't realize that Anakista was going to be six hours. So they had walked from the coaster all the way to Anakista and then stood in line and did Anakista and then walked all the way back. That is, that's a long ways, guys. It's a very long ways. Such a good job. Okay, no hotel hang tag. The hotel employee pointed this one out earlier. Right, I'm gonna get a walk around. So we'll drive. So we're doing dollies. Again. Again. <laughs> Jeff's favorite. I don't know if it's dirty or it's filthy. I think it's dirty and pretty scraped up. Gonna cover our bases here. Some pretty good scrapes across the top too. Interesting. Yeah, I think this one's. Uh, it's not broken, but it's. Mine's got the clip beat off right here. It's got a little clip supposed to go there, and it is not there. Okay. This is going to be a challenge. Jeff likes a challenge, though. Yeah. 
are they towing cars just because they're like parked in the wrong place? <laughs> yes. Yes. Is that hotel parking? Yes, this is hotel parking. Is it, this is not hotel parking. That is not hotel parking. This that is, is paid parking. Okay, that's the guy down there that I paid for earlier, right? Nope, that's up there. Yeah, by the church? By the church, yes. This is church parking. Correct, that's what yes. I thought. Okay, that's this is guy. hotel parking. I just want to verify that I, I fucked the right guy. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, this right here, you know the numbers? This is the church parking, right? Let me talk about down there. So, so, so the so the numbers. If you're on that side, that's not hotel parking. Or that's not the church parking. That's hotel. Okay. Out. And for later reference in this video, that is the hotel um, over here on the other side. That is church parking. And right here in the middle is a dividing road with through traffic. Now, keep in mind, these are numbered spots and they are for church parking. Right here. Watch your front end. Watch your front. Okay, so this one right here. And for later reference, guys, the also important Chrysler Pacifica is parked here at the hotel parking lot. And there is the hotel in question. Um, the overflow sign that clearly faces down street. And once again, this is through traffic. This road is definitely for through traffic. And you can clearly see that she is in the hotel parking lot. Nope, not getting it. So that truck is parked in no parking zone. Hey, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see if we can get out of the way 
Okay. Probably before we even trap. So if you've got a walk around, I'm just gonna start. That. I have not gotten a walk around yet. There's something missing or something there. I'm trying. Let me get this tag on. We've already got. Yeah, we've got a, an audience. Yes. So for all the people who say, why do you act like you don't know what car it is that they're talking about? Well, sometimes we get more than one car. Sometimes people call about cars that we don't have. So. Quite a lot of people call for cars that we've never towed. Yes. That's why we always ask. We never assume that we have their vehicle. This is going to be quite the challenge. Look how close you are right here. Oh, it's going to be super bad. Super close right there. Super close up here. Of course, this truck is not in a parking spot. That is not a spot. You see, it used to be, but then they painted over it. It's not a spot. So, we should we tow him? Probably not a good idea. I don't know, man. If it's got an emergency brake on, we're done. Let me look. Okay, you're good on that. Hold on. No parking brake set. Let me come over to this side. Well, do you want to watch your front? I can see you. You can see your front? Okay. Let me watch this side. Okay. You're good up front. Oh, it's so close. No, no, no. Maybe, I don't know. Just be ready to stop. I tell you to stop. Stop, 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 stop. Watch your front end. Pick me one of these dollies. Everything auto is Jeff. Hi, um, my name is and I was in Gatlinburg and was directed to park in a parking lot. Um, they said it was overflow parking, and um, my car is missing. And I guess it may be a hotel's parking lot. I'm really not sure, but I don't have a car, and I'm from Illinois, and uh, I don't I don't know what to do. Okay. And I, all the hotel would was give me this phone number. They wouldn't tell me your guys' name or anything. I, I don't. That's the closest business to the parking spot. Okay. Uh, so I, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> yeah, the the hotel called us to remove your vehicle. They said it was on their See, property. They said they told us they did not call you guys. So I don't I, I don't know what to do. And I I don't know how like you know what I mean like uh, that guy down there told us to p come over here and it says overflow parking like right next to it but. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. Gotcha. 
Um, I got two little kids, and I just I'm from Illinois, so here I am. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm and really, I mean, I literally was told, do I need to go talk to that guy to find out because I don't want to have to pay for this when I literally was told to park there. Okay. I mean, you're you're welcome to. I the only thing I know is they called us for the removal, so that's the that's the only thing that I can tell you. So how much is it towing for you guys when it was out of my hands and I don't know what, you know, I'm sorry, I, I hate to be like that, but I, I'm like, I was told to park there by that guy. He said it was overflow parking. Gotcha. Or I wouldn't have parked there because, I mean, I don't do that stuff. Gotcha. It's, um, as long and as you I'm not sure how to even get to you because this guy at this hotel says he didn't call you guys. He didn't call anybody. He knows nothing. He, and he's like, I don't even know their name. All I know is here's the phone number. So I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Gotcha. Um, I didn't call the cops. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, it's it's as long as your ID matches the registration. Uh, you're the registered owner of that vehicle. We can release it back to you. Uh, the cost associated is to be cash. Hundred dollars pick up a car that when I didn't park in the wrong spot, I parked where I was told to. I'm sorry that they they said it was their private property and uh, they asked us to remove it. And they said that they called and asked it to be removed when they told me they didn't call. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I've got I've got record of them calling me, so I don't I don't know what they're wow. trying to say. So. Where am I on my vacation? Because I'm not gonna be able to spend any more money. All right. Well, um, I will go call the cops and see if they can give me a ride there. I guess with my two minor children, because this is ridiculous. Okay. I mean, wow. the, the trolley takes as well. You can call the trolley or or uh, cab service as well. But. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, just let us know you're I, heading this way. I don't keep anybody here after hours, but if you if you let if what you know. What time do you close? How much I I hitchhike there. Okay. If if I if I know that you're coming this way, I give me kind of a thirty I'm minute heads up, and then I'll get somebody back to the gate. How how far am I from you? Uh, walking, it would be over an hour. Okay. Well, I mean that's. I'm gonna call the cops and see if they'll give me a ride because I mean I have a five-year-old and a ten-year-old with a broken arm, so I'm gonna start walking that way. I guess I don't really have a freaking clue. So we'll be there in about an hour, I guess. Okay. <laughs> if not sooner, hopefully. Okay. Already just. Can you? Uh, do, is this a texting phone? Can you send me an address to where I need to GPS myself to? Yeah, I can send a text over to this to this phone or this. Uh yeah. Okay, I'll send a message. So somebody will be there within an hour? Yes, For an hour? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, thank you. All right, thanks, bye. There's nobody. That's not overflow. And I don't know. No, that's hotel. We went through this. The, the clip that you got from the guy that understood? This is church parking. Correct, that's what yes. I thought. Okay, this is hotel I, parking. I just want to verify that I, I talked to the right guy. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, this right here, you know the numbers? This is the church parking. I didn't talk to you down there. So, so, the, so the numbers. If you're on that side, that's not hotel parking. Or that's not the church parking. That's hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They just gave you a ride. My okay. car was towed from Gatlinburg today. Uh, was Am I in the right spot? Yeah, yeah. Oregon? Yes, I believe okay, I just spoke my, with you. My, my friend and my kids are up at that hotel sitting there trying to stay warm so I didn't have to come here. Gotcha. I don't know who those, don't know who those people are, so I was hoping I was in the right spot. I'll gotcha. Further. And you're a registered owner? Yes. ID matches registration? Yes, yes. Okay. And then, like I said, the call has to be cash yeah, on the... Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to try to go after the hotel for it because they said they didn't do anything and they never called you. So you guys give me a record of that? It was a, okay, one of their fine. employee I'm numbers. Gonna, like, definitely try to press it because I only have $4. I'm going to have to get my dad to get Western Union to... Gotcha. Somehow get me money to get my kid home now. <laughs> you, said, you said they told you it was overflow? Yeah, there's... they said it. And there's a sign literally across the street. There's no signs that say no towing, nothing like that. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And if you got keys, I'll bring it up here for you, dear. Oh, and then she's. Oh yeah, I have a button key. I think. So okay. Hopefully yeah. Here. Hopefully get it. Not in that other bag. Here, would you just take that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Let me get this receipt while you're looking. Everything auto. We were parked. Uh, what we thought was parking that we paid for, and apparently it was not parking that we paid for. Um, it was at a hotel. Okay. What kind of car is it? 
Oh, sorry, I lost you. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I don't, that's, I don't need to be rude to you. No, no, that's I'm okay. Just, this is just so absurd to me because we paid for the parking. We didn't realize you were in a, apparently a parking place. But because it says it, there's a sign right in front of us that says overflow parking. It's like somebody else I along with you. Is it that same and hotel? So the same hotel, yeah. There's, what, there's that receipt here. Yeah, it's... Um, it's it's hotel parking. I mean, they're it's a Chrysler Pacifica. It's black, and it was towed from what the hell even okay. hotel are we at? Country Inn and Suites yeah. by Radisson. Well, okay. Show them that receipt, yes. dear. Show them that you. That one. Um, yeah, that's that's the hotel parking lot. I know it's it's confusing over there, but yeah. um, I don't yeah. I don't know which parking yeah, that's, you pay for you need the to... church lot or the gravel lot across the street. What? Yeah, we paid for the church lot. We literally paid them. Okay. And so this is like insane. Yeah, yeah as long as you've got your parking, records. Though. and That's the hotel parking lot. Okay, so what do we do to get our vehicle? All of our belongings, everything we own is not vehicle. Okay. Well, um, not everything we own, but you know what I mean, for our vacation. Well, right, so. right. As long as you're the registered owner. Um, the We're I not the registered owner. It's being rental. Okay. Do you have ID to match a rental agreement? I'm sure we do, yes. Okay. We have ideas of uh, I'll, need, I'll, need, I'll need that. Yeah, the rental agreement is in the car. Yeah, and the rental agreement is in the car. That's okay. That's okay. As long as we can match those two. Um, the address to pick it up is 221 Newman Road. 221 Newman Road. Mm -hmm. How far is that from here? Um, if you're walking, it's about an hour walk. Oh, my Jesus but, Christ. Uh, 221 Newman Road. The yeah, blue, it's an hour walk. The blue trolley will bring you to the corner close by if if you would like to do that. But also there's Uber, Lyft, um, taxis, stuff like that. Um, the, then we can get it back tonight. And what is the charge from you guys? Yes, the cost associated is and it has to be cash. Okay, yes. here's those keys. And you got the receipt, right? Because okay, we thank you. paid for fucking parking by a damn church person. Okay. Did they tell you to park there? The, yes, they absolutely told us to park there. This is like fucking robbery. This okay. city, like literally since we've been here, fucking robbery. Okay. The, like this is insane. Like are you guys out of your fucking mind? Uh, no, but, but if, if you want to talk to me, you know what? We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. You can come and pick it up Monday morning at 8. Thank you. You will not speak to me that way. She's a little salty, wasn't she? She was very salty. Anyway, that was a Pacifica. Mm. Well, you done pissed the boss off now, so. <laughs> done pissed the boss off. Monday's a holiday, dear. Oh, well. That's going to be Tuesday. I think this is her. Oh, this is definitely her. I'm going to write her phone number down. You can talk to her this time. Unless she want me to talk to her again. No, I'll talk to her. Everything auto. And um, my wife just called up and uh, she had a little bit of an outburst. And uh, I want to apologize for that to the young lady that had answered the phone call. Now, this is uh, this is pertaining to uh, a rental vehicle. Um, we're coming from Florida, visiting Gatlinburg. And uh, it so happened that we parked within a hotel parking lot, thinking it was overflow parking, which apparently it was not. Now, um, we have all of our belongings there. Uh, for the vacation that we've taken to Gatlinburg. So I understand it's dollars to get this rental out of there. And uh, and we just want to come by tonight, pay whatever we need to pay, and get our rental back. Yeah, I. Uh, she was just very disrespectful to us, and we have nothing to do. We don't have anything to do with this situation. We are just we are just called to remove things from the from the private property. So you know, when she, when she's going to be disrespectful for us, it makes us not want to to bend over backwards and do things after hours. So I told I totally I I, I agree. I agree, I understand, and I sincerely apologize for that. It's just been a very frustrating situation, and um, this just came totally out of left field. No, um, I, you know, and it was I, unacceptable I, on your part. And I understand the frustrations 100%. It's nothing personal. You just got to understand that we don't have anything to do with, with, the, with the tow away. If she wants to be frustrated, she needs to be frustrated with the hotel. So um, is it, you said it's a rental? Yeah, it's a rental. Okay. We, uh, we have the rental agreement within the vehicle. I've, I've got the key on me. Okay, and is um, it... So we can certainly prove that, it's, that it's, um, you know, it is uh, rented to us. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whoever's name is on the rental, I just need a copy of their driver's license to make sure that that is the same name that's on the rental agreement, and then we can release it to you guys. Yeah, and then, absolutely. And then, like I said, it's it's uh, it's the three hundred for for the total, and we will give you a receipt for the thing. We are not we're not in any way, shape, or form trying to withhold anything from you guys. So. No, certainly not. No, that's uh, that's perfectly fine. Now, is it cash or can I put it on the card? It, it has to be cash. And, 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 okay. I'll, and I'll give you the explanation okay. for that just so you, she's not upset about it. We we have done credit cards for <clears throat> these in the past, and then the, they'll, they'll just get disputed, and then we lose out for our end of it. And like I said, it's that's just our policy, and we only do that on the illegal parks. No, I, I understand. That's That's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, yeah. If you if you guys are, right, um, uh, I can get somebody back over here. Um, I, you know, I have somebody at the lot here in probably ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've got. Uh, I think I just punched it in. It's uh, it's sort of an hour walk from our end, um, but I believe uh, we can have a, a friend that so happens to be uh, booking a cabin out here to come scoop us up, uh, come scoop us up, and, and take us over there. So. Okay. Um, certainly wouldn't be 10 minutes it would probably be within i would say within the next 45 minutes okay uh, if, that, if that's all right okay yeah that'll be fine i'll get somebody back over here all right um as far as a copy of my license um i've got my license on me um how would you what, what do you prefer do you want me to just kind of uh, take a picture of my license and send it to this number oh no 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 we'll just just visually look at it and make sure that it's the same name that's on the registration that's all we need we just need to make sure okay. that that yeah we're giving it back to the rightful person all right all right very well uh, all right all right well i appreciate it thank you very uh -huh. much we'll uh, we'll see you here in about 45 okay thank you sir all right uh, bye -bye. all right thank you bye-bye well, that was uh, I'm um totally different conversation than you had. I'm glad you got to deal with her. Look at me. Yeah, yeah man. You guys. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, man. No problem. Um, you, you got. You said you're a registered owner, right? Yep. Okay. You have my license. And if you got, hopefully you got some keys, my friend. I do have keys, yes. Okay. I don't know if you need a copy of that. Nope. Just need to make sure it matches the, the one on the, on the thing here. But if you've got some keys, I'll bring it up here for you, man. I got some keys if it's easier for you. Yeah. Just insurance makes me drive them up here to the beginning of the lot, so. Here you go, then. All right. Give me just a sec. Hell of a night. You said the rental agreement was? Yes. I'll make sure you got this receipt so you can, uh, you got it. Okay, let me get this receipt for you. There's a copy of that one. All right. Thank you guys. Be careful now. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, he was very nice. She definitely was not to you, but he was very respectful. He was very nice. I noticed that she did not come with him. Yeah, it's, it's probably a good thing. It sounded like she could not control her her temper. So It's one of those situations where I think the more she talked, the more fired up she got. And then, then she just was a little bit out of control there. Yeah, it's a... Whew, you know, it's like I told him, it, it happens. I understand, you know, I, I try not to take anything personal. But, um, you know, when you... When you really start talking, talking down. You know, and she was, she was saying F this and F that and everything. And that's fine. But when she said F you, <laughs> that's not fine. Yeah. You can't disrespect the people that are trying to help you. That makes absolutely no sense to me. If I was in those shoes, man, I would be like, okay, I'll get my car. I'll cuss you after I get, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I really think of you after I get my car and I'm on my way. Why would you want to? Why would you want to do that beforehand when we're trying to help you out and uh, we're staying after hours and uh, waiting on you and, and really, that makes no sense to me. Yeah. So cuss me after you leave. Okay. So everyone says, oh, there's, uh, it says overflow parking. So there is a sign that says overflow parking. So this is the church parking. 
and they've gone to donations. There's a sign that says overflow parking and it points that way to that lot over there, that gravel lot over there. They're parking over here thinking that this is overflow parking. 